Jeff Steinle's murder trial continues today with testimony from more eyewitnesses. Her father testifying yesterday about the final moments of his daughter's life on a San Francisco pier back in 2015. The defense team says the shooting was accidental. William Lajeunesse La is live from our West Coast Bureau. Like any trial, William, attorneys on both sides are painting two very different pictures of what happened that day. Exactly, and the defense claims that Jose Zarate is a harmless homeless man who speaks very little English. He fired the gun accidentally, and had he been a college student or a tourist, the defense says charges never would have even been filed. Prosecutors say that was this, this was not an accident. Holding the gun high, the DA said this is the weapon that killed Kate Stanley. She is dead because this man pointed a gun in her direction and pulled the trigger. Witnesses, video, and the defendant's own words, she says, show he intentionally fired. And had he not been guilty, he would have helped Steinle and not run. The sole witness was Kate's father, Jim, who recalled walking arm in arm with Kate the moment she was hit. She stops, she takes a selfie, she turns around and shot. As she fell, she said, help me, Dad. That's my bedtime story every night. Prosecution experts say the gun was double action, meaning you'd first have to pull back the slide to chamber around before firing a shot. Sandra? William, what is the defense argument? Well, they claim, number one, Zarate did not steal the gun, that he found it on a pier and it discharged accidentally. And it is true that the bullet did ricochet off the pavement, proof the defense claims this was an accident. The gun, they argue, fired on its own when Zarate grabbed it or stepped on it, and that he threw it in the water to make it stop firing. If he didn't know that the object he touched had a gun in it, then he does not bear criminal responsibility. So the gun was stolen out of a car of a federal agent four days earlier. The defense claims had it not been for his negligence, Kate would be alive today.